Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that, then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. So in today's video, I wanted to come on and talk to you all all about the Dooney and Burke satchel. I want to tell you all more about why I fell in love with the style. And then I also want to show you all my current Dooney and Burke satchel collection. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. So when it comes to the Dooney and Burke satchels, it's such an iconic style. And I feel like all age groups can rock this style bag. I know for me, I was in my mid-20s when I got into Dooney and Burke. And at that time, y'all, I was at a point where I was just tired of just buying bags just for the looks, only for them to fall apart on me like months later. So I got on YouTube, searched um, quality handbags, and this bag came up, y'all. And when I tell y'all it was love at first sight, I was just so intrigued by the style and the look of this bag. And I was so happy to know that I would be able to get a nice quality handbag that was also cute as well. So y'all, I watched so many videos of this style bag. And then one day I had went into my local TJ Maxx. And lo and behold, y'all, I came across this bag here. And when I saw this bag, y'all, my eyes just lit up. I went over, started touching and feeling on it, and was so happy to know that, you know, the videos that I watched on this bag, the, the YouTubers were not lying when they said that this bag was really good quality. Like, I knew from that point on that this was going to be my bag. So I brought this bag home, y'all. And I think I only paid like $139 for this bag, which I thought was a steal of the deal. It was just a no-brainer for me just to bring this bag home. But some of the things that I love so much about this bag, y'all, was how Dooney designed it on the front here. I love how he has the strap going down this bag. I just think that's such a really nice look. And then these nice big rings here for the hardware. To hold the handle, I think it's just so nice as well. The whip stitching on this bag. Like, do y'all see that? Like, this is such a nice style bag. I just love the whip stitching on that. And then what really just drew me all the way in, y'all, was how this bag creates this really nice smile. And the more you use your satchel, the more the smile will just form. And I just love it. I think it's just so good. So, yeah. All of those things about this bag is what really drew me to it. Tassels on the side really also played a big part too in me just falling in love with this bag. I think that that's a really nice design too on the sides of it. And then when you raise it up, you have that nice little pleating there. Like y'all cannot tell me that this isn't a cute bag. Like it's hard not to like, you know, it is just hard not to like this bag. And then here is the back side of it. Ugh. I just love this, y'all. I love this bag. And I picked this bag up in 2019, y'all. So this bag is now five years old. And she is just getting so, so good with time. This one right here, y'all, I'm not too sure of the actual leather. Um, I believe that it is an all-weather leather, though. But this is in the color sand. And it's very, very durable, y'all. Very, very durable. Um, it is water resistant. I've worn this bag in the rain and it not done anything to it. Yeah, it's just so good. I love that it does come with the feet on the bottom here too. And look at the corners, y'all. Like, even the corners, they don't look too bad. I do have some wear on them though. So this kind of turned into a wear and tear on this bag. But <laughs> there is a little bit of corner wear. But that just shows you that I have really just been using this bag and just loving on her. And y'all, in my opinion, like I said, I feel like this bag is for all ages. And I feel like you can certainly just make it your own. So you can actually dress this bag up. I've actually worn like twillies on this bag. I've thrown beads on this bag, um, hoof balls on this bag, just to kind of make it my own, y'all. And it's just such a look, y'all. So I highly recommend this satchel, especially if you're getting started out in the brand. I really do recommend it. So we're going to go ahead and get into the collection. As y'all know, this is my satchel in the color sand. And I do want to mention too, at the time of me purchasing this bag, this one was known as the size small. 
but it is now just called satchel on the website i think it's a nice everyday size though like to me it is a really nice everyday size so this is the first bag all right so moving on to my knit satchel y'all here is my knit satchel and i hands down absolutely love this bag y'all this is actually my city leather satchel in this color jade this color y'all is just so good it is so fun it screams like springtime summertime and that's when i typically pull this bag out y'all and she really does get her wear in the warmer months um and she's just so good i've actually also had this bag since 2019 as well and i just love how she's wearing overall such a beautiful bag here is the bottom of her yeah, she is just so, so good, y'all. And recently, I did actually acquire a new SLG to go into her. Shout out to Phoebe over at Phoebe's Corner. I was able to purchase this little coin purse from her, y'all. And I love how these look together. This is actually the coin purse in the color Seafoam. And again, this is Jade. But look at how well they match up. And look at the trimming. Like, it's like they were made to go together. Like, I just love this. So, I'm super excited about carrying this bag again and rocking her with my little coin purse. Yeah. So, and this bag here too, y'all, is a forever one at that. Unlike my sand one that I showed y'all, I love how Dooney and Burke still had the trimming on here, the um, whip stitching. But they did it in the same color as the leather. I think that's really, really nice. Very nice. So yeah, y'all, I love me a good satchel. And this one right here is no exception. All right, so moving on to my net satchel, y'all. My net satchel is this one right here. This one is in the Florentine Natural Leather. And this, y'all, was actually a second um, buy for me. So I did purchase a same as that bag like this. I believe it was in 2019 as well. Purchased it and then... I got to a phase where I was just like, okay, I have too many natural bags, so I need to get rid of some. Got rid of it, y'all. And then, of course, like, I missed it. <laughs> so I did repurchase this bag, y'all, back in 2022, I want to say. And, yeah, this one is a forever one as well. I just love it so much. I love, like, all of the love marks that I've put on this bag. And unlike the other two bags that I showed y'all, this one actually has the leather duck on the front, which I think is really nice as well. And here is the side of her. Oh, this bag is just so good. And I just love, too, y'all, this red zipper tape on this bag. Do y'all see that? Like, this is so nice. I love that about the bag. And then I do love this um, braided uh, pull tab here, too. Zipper pull tab. Oh, this is so, so nice. This is actually a Made in America bag, y'all. So here in the um, tassels, it actually has red leather on the uh, opposite side of it. And I think that's a really nice touch, too. So, yeah, I'm so glad that I was able to get this bag back into my collection. It is just so, so good, y'all. So, so good. Y'all, I must say, just looking around at my satchels here, it they, they just make me so, so happy. And I'm telling y'all, like, if you have bags in your collection and they don't make you happy, go ahead and get rid of them. <laughs> like, when you look at your bags, they should really just make you smile. And that's what my bags do for me, y'all. That's what my bags do for me. So, this next color, y'all, that I'm going to show y'all makes me extremely happy. <laughs> And it is this one right here, y'all. Let me tell y'all, when Dooney and Burke brought out the fuchsia and the Florentine leather, I wanted like every bag in the color. Like I wanted every bag that they had, but I knew for sure that I needed to get it in my favorite style from them, which is the satchel. So y'all, this one right here is my satchel in the Florentine beautiful fuchsia color and this bag is just everything like she is just so so good Dooney and Burke really got it right with this color I love it so much and it's so vibrant too y'all that's what really gets me about this bag is that it is so vibrant it also comes with the leather um tab tab here on the front and also this beautiful brown Timor whip stitching oh. So, so good. I actually don't mind the brown Timor stitch on that. I think it's a nice touch. Even if Dooney would have done this 
in the um same color as the leather i wouldn't i wouldn't have been mad at that either i think think that's really really gorgeous so let me give y'all a spin around of this beauty here and she just feels so good y'all i just love how this bag is aging with time yeah it's doing so so well and i did not mention this early on y'all but i also wanted to point out the opening i am actually i think one of the few dooney and burke lovers that don't mind the opening of the bags i think that they're really like just perfect for me i don't have a really like big hand so i'm able to reach down with no issues and get my stuff out of it and i'm even able to like see all in the bag when i have my items in there too so i don't have an issue with that at all oh y'all how did I forget about this? The suede interior. Do y'all see that? So most of the Florentine leather um, satchels, they do come with this green suede uh, here at the top. And I just love that too, y'all. I love that so much about the bag. My Florentine natural bag that I just showed y'all, it's a made in America bag. So it does not come with the suede interior, but it does have the leather um red here on the top part so i did want to point that out to y'all so my next satchel that i'm going to show y'all is also a repurchase y'all this was like my biggest regret my biggest regret so my very first dooney and burke satchel was this style right here in this beautiful all weather leather black color mm -hmm. Um, this was my first one, y'all. I picked it up from TJ Maxx. And then that sand color one that I showed y'all, that was my second one that I had picked up. And I got rid of this bag, y'all, because I just wasn't reaching for it anymore. And when I tell y'all that was like a big, big mistake, oh, uh, that was the biggest mistake, y'all, that I've ever made. And then recently on last year, Dooney and Burr brought back this same exact style. And when I tell y'all, I jumped on it and got it. I had to go ahead and get this bag and I will never, ever, ever let her go again. No, no, no. <laughs> but y'all, this bag is just so good. So it is, I believe, an all-weather leather just like that sand bag is, sand colored bag is. It does have this beautiful brown Timara stitching, which I absolutely love. Y'all already know. <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to say it, but I just love it. I just love it. And then it has the brown... Um, uh, zipper tape right there the black tassels oh the pleating oh my gosh y'all I think I'm gonna move into a satchel now that I've gotten them all out I think I need to go ahead and move into one of my satchels y'all <laughs> because they are just so so good here is the bottom and yeah they're just so so nice y'all like I just cannot get enough of these bags Okay, y'all, so we have come down to the very last satchel that I have in my collection. This is the very last satchel that I have, but it certainly will not be my last because I do still want, I think, a navy satchel. I've toyed back and forth on if I even want to try um, out another Dooney and Burton navy bag, but I think I do. I think I'm at a point now where I do want to give them, give that color another try. So I am going to probably add that to my collection. But for now, the last one that I have in my collection is this cutie right here, y'all. This is my recent um, purchase. I picked this one up close to the end of last year. This is actually the mini satchel in the color Ecru. And this is my only mini satchel, y'all. And she is just the cutest. Like, this bag is just so cute. And I am able to downsize my carry in a way where I can carry this beauty as an everyday bag and not have any issues at all. I love that even though she's a mini, she still has all the little cute detailing that I love in a satchel. Still has the little um, strap here going down and going around there. Still has the really nice buckling. Still has this gorgeous braided zipper pull the whip stitching on the handles, and then also to look at this red zipper tape. Oh, I just love how they did that. I re I'm really glad they did it in red against this color. I think it looks really, really nice like that, y'all. So good job, Dooney, on doing it that way. Um, Here is the other side of her. She has her little tassels. My fuchsia satchel has the same, where it does come with the green suede um, here on the tassels on the inner part. 
So it's a very, very nice touch. Here is the back of her. What is that? It's an indentation. I think that might be my wallet. But one of the things that I love about this bag, y'all, because I wasn't really sure. I wasn't really sure when I had picked it up. But once I got it, I was so happy to know that her opening is still a decent size. So even though she is a mini, like you can just open her up and see right down in there. So, okay, my wallet is on the top. So I don't know what that is, y'all, making an indentation. Hmm. But yeah, look at this. She has the green suede right there on the top. I just love it. And I think, y'all, I think, too, that I probably want to try out a micro size, too, just to see how I like that. I think it'll probably be, like, a nice, like, um, weekend carry or, like, when I don't have to carry a lot, I can carry that bag. But we'll see. We'll see. As of right now, I'm just slowly just curating the satchel collection, and I'm loving all of my satchels, y'all. All of them are forever items in my collection. So yeah, y'all, that is that. Um, Let me know in the comments too if you are a lover of the satchels. I would love to know and I would love to know out of your satchel collection, which one is your favorite. And yeah, y'all, that is that. That completes this video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.